about this house in this neighborhood. There's a lot of construction going on. There appear to be a lot of activity down there at the quick stop. The trail. It says no trespassing. So they really try to corral people. This little plot of land, they don't want anybody walking down below this way. At a dead end here. Alright, somebody smashed this window. I'm not sure what's in there. <laughs> Nobody saw me looking either. It's locked up. I'm actually looking for the, the food stamp office, but it doesn't really look like there's any evidence of one. I wonder if their popcorn is sold here. There'll be taco stands in every corner. Okay, might be selling tacos. Moving? It should be. A, oh, no, it's U.S. Bank. I think they distribute food, stamp, food stamps. I'm looking for the employment agency, which has a food stamp. Something. Fourth floor, maybe? What? I just saw the building security carries guns. Little, like, 9mm or Glock. The lady looked at me really weird, so I don't understand. I have to uh, uh, figure out this fourth floor thing. So this is recovery. I got confused by the Department of Human Services, but it's recovery. Okay, so maybe it's the second floor eligibility. Okay, so Google Maps said something else. It's on 27th and Adams. All right, so 27th and Adams is just down this way, a couple blocks. This next intersection is a 26th, and I go to 27th, take a left, until I, and I go straight down until I hit Adams. What is this? This truck's got some kind of a signal on it. Got to get out of the way of the bus. So they consolidate workforce services with with the food stamps. So I have to see how this this goes because I got to switch over from Idaho now that I'm in Utah, and Idaho has a program, so I can't just try to let the food stamps run out. I gotta constantly keep in contact with them and let them know that I'm still like looking at bouncing around for work or whatever. <laughs> like a copy of this card or something? No. No, you just read it to me yeah. and that's it? You may be eligible for food stamps, but you need to talk to an eligibility specialist about your eligibility. You're encouraged uh -huh. to apply for food stamps today. Well, this is the first state I've seen where you don't meet anybody face to face. It's like the the most you get for face to face is that that uh, that the uh, people greeter who has to read you the legal the legal statement and then and then you uh, you talk to somebody on the phone. Uh, but everything has to be done on the internet. Uh, he, he welcomed me to use a station. 
Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I guess, in a rush. That much of a rush. I'll wait. Maybe I can wait a couple of days. Um, and maybe I'll do it on, on my computer if I can ever get my laptop over. But yeah, he gave me this, this paperwork. I don't know if it's readable. I can't see. It's easy to apply online. So that's jobs. Yeah, I gotta remember that website. So that's the Utah way. Federal program, but every state is different. Okay, I'm gonna trespass. There's a cop sitting way over there wait, watching, but I wanna check out that sign. I mean, they took down the gate. John Moses. All right. Huh. <laughs> and that guy parked in front, didn't even see him sitting in there. I think I might like to try to get over to the South Ogden Library tomorrow. It's something different to do. I just need to find somewhere to park around that area. I would drive that. Because that second Walmart is a bit of a challenge. I don't know if I want to take up that challenge. They get too many problems over there. And they got a warn. That's that's convincing enough for me. When they got a warn about bags inside the store, that's the first Walmart I've ever seen. They won't warn like that. It's a good long ways. Oh, geez, what was that? Uh, I'm just kind of looking around now, just seeing how the neighborhoods are. That's kind of what I do. I research a little bit, try to find somewhere to hit, and then sometimes I just wander, look around, and see what it's like. Sometimes I come across something that you just don't don't see on the on the map. Not much to look at. I just saw a whole family, a man, wife, like an eight-year-old boy on the top of a roof taking the shingles off of it. It's like a family affair, maybe in the grandpa below. They didn't have any safety equipment on either. That's scary. It's only one story. Falling one story is deadly. I'm still amazed that they're gonna close down the library in Ogden, central Ogden, for a year. That's really gonna change people's habits. The north and south libraries are like 15 miles either way. You know, the, the least they uh, maybe not. I was about to say the least they could do is keep the Wi-Fi on at the main library and just let people uh, get in the get on, like stand on the sidewalk and use the Wi-Fi or something. They don't exactly need it to hang out inside. Or at least park a bookmobile. bookmobile. Park a bookmobile somewhere that's downtown. Let people uh, work that way, possibly. 
No, they're just saying they're gonna shuttle people. They don't even they haven't even figured out a schedule yet. For sh for shuttling. Booted. They'll be booted. They'll put on the biggest boot they can find. Does this statue make sense by physics? It seems like she wouldn't bend like that. <laughs> 